Baby, just another nightmare. Everything's fine. You dozed off. Right. Anything more than dozed off would be news for everyone. Cheer up, handsome. We're here. These facial animations are... For the lack of a better word... Retarded. <laughs> Sorry, Remedy, but... Wow. Oh yeah, and this reminds me, the trailer in the beginning was really a nice throwback as such, reminded me a lot of the PS1 era games that used it a lot, certain more than others, but anyway, having those video trailer like intro thingies, when you just let the game run, without catching it, uh huh. We are on a ferry, approaching Let's Bright act Falls. like we're on vacation. Go stand next to that old gentleman there. I want a shot of you with the town in the background. <laughs> sure. I'll even give you a title for the shot. A city boy, moments before he got eaten by a bear. Uh-huh, uh-huh, ha-ha. Uh -huh. Hi. Hello. Hello there. You picked a good time to visit our town. Deerfest is just two weeks away. Deer fest, huh? Did you hear that, honey? Did you hear that, dear? You have a lovely wife. If you don't mind me saying. I do. I'm Pat Maine, by the way. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm Alan Wake. I won't pretend I don't recognize a famous writer such as yourself, Mr. Wake. A pleasure. I'm an avid reader myself. I hope this isn't too presumptuous of me, but I'm the night host at the local radio station. Any chance I could get an interview? Look. Yep. Mr. Maine, I'm on vacation. In fact, I'd appreciate it if we could keep my being here just between the two of us. I'm sure you understand. Fair enough. You can trust me to be discreet. Not a hard man to track down if you change your mind, though. I hope you two have a lovely holiday. Thank you. Fresh seafood. Yep, I bet. Yeah, we're on a vacation. Let's act like we're on a vacation. Very nice. I got a couple of really good ones. And I see you made a friend. That's cute. Uh-huh. Right. I could throw you into the lake or yeah. whatever. Hey, bestseller. That was my favorite writer. Are you there yet? Very. Yeah. We just got here. Are the locals giving you trouble? Just say the word and I'll hop on a plane and come make sure that you're left alone, Al. No, Barry. We're fine. Great. Great. Just want to make sure you can relax and recharge. So, how is the place? Has it gotten your creative juices flowing? Barry, we're just settling in. Okay, Al. I'll call back later to make sure you're doing okay. And you call me if there's a problem, okay? Okay. I'm just looking out for you, buddy. Talk to you later. I love you too, Barry. And you say that in front of your wife? You know he's going to be calling you every five minutes. Barry is Barry. I can always turn off the phone. What did I tell you? Text message from Barry. He says hi to you too. Nice one. Alan, we're here. Come on, let's get back to the car. I didn't finish exploring the ferry yet, so excuse me, woman. What's this? Bright Falls, the home of the annual deer fest. Poor deer. Come on, Slowpoke. You get the full service here. I've made all the arrangements. I drive the car. I'll even carry the bags. All you have to do is drag your cute butt into the car and enjoy the ride. Yeah, sounds like you've got a lazy bastard for a husband. <laughs> yeah, but I got a thing for him. Come on, you lazy bastard. Let's go. Yep, he is a lady bastard. Lazy lady bastard. Alan's a lady bastard. There's a deer parade thingy or something, a stage or whatever. Wow. Nice details, I would say. But yeah, the um, <laughs> facial animations are. Let's get back in the car and drive to the town. Not that We're nice. Here. Yeah, yeah. Give me a minute. I want to check if there's something fun here. Wow, it's really shallow. Here in this part. Nice views, though. Makes me wish the game 
would have been a bit more the open. About to reach the pier. Let's get back in the car. Damn yuppies. You are? You sir are a yuppie? Well, like who has the last laugh, city boy. Okay. Good day to you too. Yep, I could kick you in the ass so you'll you know go over the railing and drown. Because I bet you can't swim enough to survive in that shallow water where you can, you know, stand up and uh, be above the surface. <laughs> Bloody right, rednecks. Let's check out Bright Falls. Get in the car. Let's go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hold your horses. Okay, let's get into the car and get to um, what was this place? <laughs> Bright Falls. <laughs> Keel well. Guess it keels well over something. Paint jobs, garage. Yeah. We need to stop at the local diner to get the cabin key from the landlord, a Mr. Carl Stucky. He's waiting for us. Hope he's in stuck anywhere. I'll go fill her up while you get the key. I'll pick you up here in say 15 minutes. Sure. Alrighty. Alan, thank you for coming here with me. I love you too. Go on. I'll promise to behave. This almost sounds too much like last words. I'd forgotten there were still places like this. Towns where everybody knew everybody. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. Hi, I was wondering if you could help me. I'm looking Mr. for... Mr. Wake, Alan, Wake. Oh, God, I am your biggest fan. I know people say that all the time, but I really am. I'm glad to hear that. Rose. Rose, I'm looking for Mr. Stuckey. Carl Stuckey? Carl? Of course, Mr. Wake. He must have gone to visit the restroom. He'll be back in a moment. I Will can't hit. believe it. I've got all your books. I got the cutout from the bookstore when they took it out of the window. <laughs> and you keep it here. Well, okay. Good for you. Exactly. They're actually seeing that cutout now. Try the coffee. Just don't blame me when you fall in love. Because it'll break your heart when you have to leave. Rusty here is no longer human. Nothing but black coffee under a thin layer of skin. Yeah, that makes two of us. No, three of us. Yum yum. Yeah. Was that the Are face? Are you staying long, Mr. Wake? I can't believe it. I'm having a conversation with Alan Wake. <laughs> no, you are disturbing Alan Wake with your monologue. Um, <laughs> was that face on the missing? Are you on your own, or is your wife with you? Poster. I can show you the town if you want. I get off work at six. <laughs> Thanks, Rose. We'll be sure to keep that in mind. Yeah, no thank you. The Sudden Stop, the international bestseller. Ah, uh, right. So much for a quiet vacation. Yep, seems so. Okay. Let's take a look around. Slow service here. Still empty plates and stuff. And we can't go this way. We have to go around past the people at that table there. Hand holding a bit, I would say. Do me a favor, Sonny. I could really use a tune right now. Coconut number six in the jukebox. God. I'd do it myself, but... Both of my legs have gone to sleep. Bad circulation. Yeah. Are you serious? Coconut again? You disgust me. Call yourself a rocker. Unbelievable. Ha! I agree. Besides, old man, all you have to do is turn around and... You put the lime in the coconut. Reach for the jukebox. Up. Please Just stop singing because it. we're brothers, don't think I won't murder you in your sleep. I can put him to sleep right now. You use that knife there, in front of you, next to your hand. Yes! That's my favorite tune! Coconut! Shut your mouth, you demented has-been. <laughs> if I had my hammer, I'd shut it for you. Jeez. I'd do the same if I'd have a coconut. Tune number six in the jukebox, Children of the Elder God. Now there's a song for you. Now that one sounds interesting at least. 
Unlike coconut. Oh dear, Dino. <laughs> okay, I'll admit that was a decent one. Hmm, should we use the jukebox? Let's use it. Let's put his coconut in there. Oh yeah, I think this kind of acts as a tutorial for one it thing. It does that! Get stuck! Yeah! You need to give it a good solid whack! Yeah. Minigame. Clickety clickety click. All you have to do is just keep clicking. Now that's what I'm talking about! Yes! This is it. I've died and gone to hell. That makes two of us, dude. Don't worry. You're not alone. Thank God the jukebox is at least pretty quiet. Yeah, Alan's face says it all. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Oh god. Hmm. We can't go in there to harass waitress Rose. <laughs> what are you whimpering? Oh look, it's the local version of the log lady, I guess. The lantern lady? Don't go in there, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. I think I can handle it, ma'am. I didn't want to wait. I wanted to find you Stucky, to, die, to get the key and get out as soon worse. as possible. The waitress was giving me a headache. Overeager fans listen. always did. Yeah, and you didn't really care to listen about the... Uh, yeah, that didn't care to listen to the babbles of the old lady. Remind them to change the bulbs, Stay vigilant, because darkness never sleeps. Stay vigilant. Okay, I guess she has. She's done babbling. Locked or stuck? Jammed, just like Mister Stuck. Hello, Mister. You're stuck in the ladies' room again. Bet he's been there several times. Has to earn his name, after all. I don't want to knock, I want to barge in. Hello? Mr. Stucky? Carl couldn't make it. Unfortunately, he was taken ill. But I have the key for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. Okay. I wish you a good stay in my cabin. I'll come by later to check how you've settled in. And to meet your wife. I insist. I bet you do. Thanks. Why would anyone take those keys? Seriously. Creepy much? Besides, this whole thing reminds Cauldron me of... Cauldron Lake is a special place. Very inspiring. Of Silent Hill 3. Claudia, was it, appearing. Yeah, Cauldron Lake. Not an ominous name either. No. <laughs> Which is Cauldron Brewing Brewing. I'm so happy this could be arranged. What, your marriage? That's the only thing arranged here. Because no one would willingly like, take you. You're creepy, woman. Go crawl in a ditch and die somewhere, please. Thank you. Oh, I would appreciate that and don't come bother me at my cabin. Lucky this time, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. <laughs> this really ought to be fixed. And then I must remind Sarah to change the lights at the station. It's been too long already. Okay. Whatever. Oh, God. Even that sounds better than your singing. <laughs> <laughs> Splendid! Splendid! <laughs> Damn, honey! It swells up like a balloon if I lift anything heavier than a spoon. Yeah, splendid! Splendid! It's been a long time, Tom. Good to see you. Who are you hey, talking to? You wouldn't happen to have a bottle on you, would you, Tom? 
I wish. Hello, Tom. <laughs> okay. The Andersons, they're uh, local musicians. We're waiting for Dr. Hartman to come pick them up. They wandered off from his clinic at the Cauldron Lake Lodge. Oh great, there's a mental hospital there. How awesome. So, Mr. and Mr. Anderson. I'll be heading back to work as soon as Dr. Hartman gets here, Rose. Oh, but I'm not looking forward to the poison we have at the Park Cafe. Um, ever heard of thermoses? Apparently they do exist here as well. Now this is what coffee should taste like. Oh, Rusty, that's so sweet. I'll swing by with the fresh cut later on. Uh huh. I guess Alice came to pick us up. So, bye bye, weirdos. Will you be staying in town for the deer fest, Mr. Wake? Hope not. The deer is dear to me. The deer is dear to me. The deer is dear to me, my dear, in more ways than one. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> That's not really our festival anthem. Could have fooled me there. I really hope so. Okay, let's get I out of the this. Keys. Alice was outside. I didn't want to keep her waiting. Yeah, this nut house. Are you sure this isn't the mental clinic, dude? Maybe you just got the address oh, Mr. wrong. Wake. Good riddance. <laughs> Leave the nut diner. Mission accomplished. The key and the directions. My hero. I got some flashlights, just in case. No, you're the hero. Finally someone with brains. Hey, wait! Mrs. Wake! You're... Your keys! Yep. That diner was a real nut house. <laughs> and yep, again. Can you believe this place? This would make a wonderful setting for a book. We're supposed to be on vacation, Alice. I'll figure it out when we get back home. Okay? Okay. We can talk about this later. Here on I didn't want to talk about it. I wanted to bury my head in sand. Here's another one of my favorites to go with it. Once upon a time, I was a successful writer, but that was a long time ago. I hadn't been able to write a word in two years, not since my last book. Writer's Block. And now the weather. It's gonna be a clear night, so you folks in the big city might want to look up every once in a while and see those stars winking down at you. It gets pretty dark out here, but they'll light your way. Yep. Divers Isle. Wow. It's gorgeous, Alan. It's something, all right. Don't worry, honey. I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. I know. I'm okay. Fear. Alice had a phobia. The fear of darkness. Dark, yeah. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. Well, seems like we still have time. Yeah, lucky it's not Drowner's Isle, though it could be. Are you sure you read the directions right? It's nothing like in the brochure. It said near the lake, not on it. Don't get me wrong. This is so much better. It's wonderful. Our own private island. Yep. You won't think that much longer, which is obvious. The water looks nice. And the landscapes too, though. In general. Okay, let's do something. I'm not sure if I did yesterday. Let's go check if we can climb up there. There's a uh, huge well here with a lid on it. I'd have a feeling there's something there, probably. Most likely buried. Kind of meaning just thrown in there. It's a baby. That's what it usually is. When there's something in a well, it's a baby or at least a child. A teenager filled with angst. <laughs> why oh why did suddenly fucking McDonald's commercial tune came to my mind? I have no idea. I left the car here. 
Oh yeah. We were here. I think there was a thermos here as well. We can't even sprint at this point. We can hop, skip and do things. I wouldn't call that jumping. The cabin obviously got its name from the shape of the island. It looked like a giant bird leg. Alice had mentioned that the lake was a caldera. There was a dormant volcano under it. Awesome. Who wouldn't like to spend their vacation on an underwater volcano? Private property, no trespassing. Let's go back down and head to the cabin. Do, 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 do. Okay, interesting looking running animation there at one point. They really paid nice attention well, and put in a nice amount of detail into the walking and running animations depending on the uh, whatever it is you are walking or running on. Come on. Yeah, she doesn't run, so... Even if we run, she will take a while to get here. Oh well, doesn't matter. Bird leg cabin. We can go ahead and uh, check out the surrounding a bit. Some logs here. And more birds. Oh uh, yeah, someone carved a heart and initials here. The island had once been the site for a love story. Maybe it would be that again. Yep, as usual. He came here just to get into her pants. Unsurprisingly. Alan, Alan, you got so much to learn. Alice had told me about Cauldron Lake Lodge. The old building used to be a hotel. But these days, it was no longer open to the public. Yeah, I take it that's the mental clinic now then. Up there. How nice they can swim there tonight after sunset. Which is probably what they'll do. The old generator had been connected to the power cable. Yep, we won't start it yet. Uh, I don't think there was anything else here though, not sure, so let's go take a peek. <laughs> nope. Okay, let's go into the cabin.